Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Cursors! Foiled again! Yes, I used to be addicted to cursors. Uh, in fact, uh, in the day, I used to uh, create my own cursors. I, I did, and it was a lot of fun. In fact, people used to pay me to create cursors for them. What's a cursor? Well, it's that little pointer thing that when you move your mouse around it moves accordingly across the screen your cursor you can change it you know you can change it with ease well at least you can inside of windows it's not so simple without third-party software on mac os 10. and the reason why i bring this up is because i got an email from jonathan he says i don't know if you can help me but can you change the color of the mouse to black on vista I'm bored of the simple white. Yes, you can. Just go ahead and open up the mouse properties in your control panel. You're basically going to control the mouse. <laughs> well, I mean control panel the mouse. Flip over to the pointers tab, and by default, you've got a handful of cursors that were built into, well, pretty much every version of Windows way back when to Windows 95. In fact, some of these cursors include the cursors that came with Windows 94. So you can change it to Windows Black, including uh, a Windows Black extra large, so making it larger than the, the default size of the mouse cursor. Now, these are not likely going to be as pretty as the default Vista cursors, but uh, they are darker, certainly. You can create your own cursors if you want to. Uh, the best software I've found uh, comes from Axialis.com. Uh, they've got the Icon Workshop, uh, which I've been very, very happy with. Uh, they, you can, basically, a cursor is an icon, and then you turn it into a cursor with uh, software. Uh, there are other uh, uh, software uh, available for you to create cursors with. But if you just want to change your mouse cursor, you can do that within Windows or my recommendation, number one, and it's been this way since, well, since it was released, really. Uh, it's a piece of software. There's a free version, which is awesome. And then it's, there's also a paid version, which is, you know, even better. But it's, it's good enough at the free version. Cursor XP. Now, it does work inside of Vista as well. Don't freak out. CursorXP.com. It's a product from Stardock. Hey, Island Dog. How you doing, Brad Wardell? Yeah, we hope you're still watching us. Um, when I went to Tech TV, they had the plain old uh, mouse cursor, but we do so many on-screen demos that uh, as soon as I saw Cursor XP, they have one of their default cursors is a hand. So instead of like a mouse cursor, like a little pointer, you can have a cursor that's already drawn in the shape of a hand. And then when you move it around and, and, and go to stretch windows, instead of a, the, the arrows, it would be like a, a of two, your finger and thumb pinching, uh, like you're pinching the outside of a window, and it grabs. It's 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 more visual. So let me show you what I'm talking about here. Uh, I'm going to zoom in. I've got to take a, a live screen grab so I can zoom in and show you here. That is uh, the mouse cursor. I have a hand, a floating hand is my mouse cursor, and I had that installed on our XP box on uh, Tech TV, uh, well, Call for Help specifically, and the producers couldn't stand it. Oh, they hated the floating hand, but it was so perfect, because instead of just pointing a mouse cursor, there'd be this floating hand that'd say, it's right here, and it'd be pointing at it. I just thought it was so much fun. And uh, I tell you, every day, someone would ask where we got that floating hand, and the producers hated it. Oh, they hated that floating hand. Uh, to this day, people still wonder where the heck I got those things. But it's Cursor XP. Uh, it's available for free, CursorXP.com. And uh, it's just uh, it's just one of those things that's fun. But, you know, Cursor XP, it's not just changing the cursors to uh, really, really well-designed cursors, but uh, you can also apply effects to them. So, like, let's say when you click something, you can set the effect to be an explosion. So you can go, every time you click, wherever you click. It's just, so there's special effects, there's better designed cursors than what Microsoft gives you. It's really, I think, just an amazing power tool. Uh, and I have to admit, that's one of the things I've been very disappointed about when moving to OS X, seeing uh, the cursors and going, you know, I really don't like those older cursors that come uh, with some apps. Like iTunes still has the classic cursors. Oh, God, how Apple can ship that and still, you know, be able to, you know, 
look at themselves in the mirror is beyond me. But anyway, uh, I'll leave that rant for another day. Uh, if you know of a really cool cursor site you can pass people along to, I'd be interested in finding out. Uh, you know, I know of the, the, what it was way back when. There was the Comet Cursor, which unfortunately got tied into spyware. I created a couple of cursors on Comet Cursor. I created the South Park icons way back in the day. And uh, I created uh, a few other cursors for a couple of the shows that I was f a fan of. But this is way back when the internet was first starting. So we were all kind of connected to one another. Uh, it's not like it, it is today, or it wasn't like it is today. Um, but I've always kind of enjoyed icons and cursors at, at, a, at that level. I haven't done so much creation anymore. So uh, anyway, email me, chris at perillo.com, if you have any other great multimedia apps uh, that could go onto the desktop to enhance our experience, whether for Mac or for Windows, or I suppose for Linux, or you know, FreeBSD. That one's for you, Alan. Uh, you can uh, you know, send me uh, an email, uh, and, uh, or you can feel free to embed this video, share it with your friends in case they, uh, you know, never heard about me and what we do on a daily basis recording these videos helping other people with their computers and technology problems. Uh, we're also uh, in a chat room right now as you're watching this video we're chatting probably about you behind your back so uh, you better stop by to find out what we're saying. I know we're typically talking tech 24 hours a day and it's it's usually uh, nice to uh, talk about all sorts of stuff. We ask questions, we answer questions, but uh, we're there and uh, we hope you're there with us soon enough at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.